Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Luay. And I would like to also um, uh, greet all the panelists. Uh, Mr. Lars, thank you very much for your uh, presentation and also for sponsoring this event. Mr. Mark, uh, Mr. Anupam, as well as uh, Ms. Susan and uh, Mr. Shahab. And I would like to also thank Transport Events for making this uh, webinar uh, possible. Um, before we start, I would like to have uh, a minute of silence for uh, the demise of uh, His Highness, the former Emir of Kuwait, uh, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, who is uh, or who was the patron uh, of peace. He was a peacemaker. He promoted uh, tranquility between countries. He um, is a person that was in the forefront with uh, other leaders supporting the United Nations, supporting many countries in different types of crisis, in different types of uh, uh, disasters, rather war or natural disasters. He was a philanthropist supporting many people around the world, hundreds of millions benefited from his humanitarian support and was decorated by the United Nations as a leader of humanity and also decorated a week before his death by the United States uh, President Donald Trump uh, uh, as well. So if we have a minute of silence, please. Thank you very much. And we forward our prayers to His Highness Sheikh Sabah. May he and others be granted the uh, gardens of even on heaven. And uh, after his death, his kindness and his work will always be alive uh, for years to come. Um, talking about this webinar, which is the challenges of GCC ports and opportunities. And this is a sentence or a word or a statement that always needs to be revised by the different GCC ports and port operators year on year so that they can target their strategies and their goals and successfully reach their endeavors, either if it is in terms of major projects that they will implement or in expanding their work uh, in different parts of the world, if they are uh, port operators, 
especially uh, uh, container terminal operators. Now, we in Kuwait, looking at the opportunities in the GCC, we need to first look at the opportunities within our country. Uh, our country has witnessed uh, a royal uh, decree called New Kuwait 2035. And this decree is a request from his former highness, the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah, to develop the country into different uh, uh, sectors, developing the current land mass and the future land mass in the north of Kuwait called Al Harir City. At the same time, developing the different sectors of economy and education, infrastructure, ports, airports, healthcare, and others. And as part of this uh, uh, opportunity, we have set up our plans so that we can be at the forefront of this uh, development uh, phase with 12 important projects. The last, which is uh, an unplanned uh, project, but a project uh, so important that we had to uh, include it within our 2035 New Kuwait plan, which is building a, uh, an industrial commercial port that would support our local industry, especially after this COVID-19 pandemic, where we all, in our different sectors, including in our port sector, need to learn uh, from what has the pandemic done and how the lessons learned because of the pandemic going forward. And thus, with this uh, pandemic, looking back at our current challenges and opportunities, we found out that it is time that the industrial sector in Kuwait needs to be supported. And for them to be supported, they need to have a platform where they would receive the raw materials from a specialized port uh, that would be LEED certified, environmentally friendly, and at the same time, fulfilling all their requirements. As part of our 2035 uh, program, uh, we also would like to display to you our uh, uh, projects. These projects might be uh, uh, very challenging projects, but at the same time, there are also opportunities. Opportunities for the panelists and probably they might be as well as uh, regional competitors at the same time. Uh, uh, please, uh, uh, Ms. Uh, Rose, if you can put the uh, PowerPoint. Okay. Um, if we go to the next page, please. We uh, invited companies from all over the world so that they can look at our projects and these projects uh, are very important projects. They're part of our uh, development program. And therefore, we wanted everyone to know about those projects. We wanted as much companies as possible to participate in our different phases, uh, in our uh, design phase, as well as in our uh, construction phase. Uh, these goals, as well, 
uh, are very important because we did not want to have any of our competitors or, or uh, uh, participants to have a, an advantage over any other companies. And therefore, we wanted to implement transparency, competitiveness, equality, and make sure that all our projects are announced. If we go to the next slide, please. Um, looking at our uh, goals and aims, um, why do we want those projects to be implemented? Because we want to receive bigger ships. Uh, our current uh, ports are old. Uh, Shweikh port is 65 years old. Shaiba port is around 50 years old. These are the two major ports in Kuwait. We need to have uh, bigger berths, bigger ship to shore cranes, uh, deeper waterways to receive the bigger ships. We also want to enable digitalization at the same time attracting global firms to have Kuwait as a hub so that they can export their products to other neighboring countries. We also want to improve our efficiency and operation by having better uh, handling. And at the same time, we have countries neighboring us uh, that have a population of over 200 million. And we want to become a hub where we can uh, reship or transship those goods from Kuwait to our neighboring countries. Next, please. Um, as any other uh, entity, we wanted to have pillars. And those six pillars in front of you uh, are national pillars, especially uh, uh, in employing Kuwaitis, uh, empowering the Kuwaitis, especially the young generation, to become part of the decision-making process, empowering women as well, which is a very important initiative, training Kuwaiti nationals, and this is what we've been doing over the last five years, training them in Hamburg, in Antwerp, in other major ports all, all around the, port, uh, the world, in Singapore with the uh, uh, PSA, Port of Singapore Authority, and enabling them to see the, and experience hands-on the top ports all over the world so that we can do our best here in Kuwait and uh, 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 develop the right projects. If we go to the next slide. Uh, our development the plan is divided into uh, uh, seven projects, but actually they are 11. Uh, why? Because the logistic cities is four projects in one. We have four areas in Kuwait with a total uh, land mass of over 1.5 uh, million square meters. And uh, these four projects uh, have been bundled together to be implemented uh, and designed as one package. If we go to the next slide, please. We've also divided our projects into five major stages. And as you can see in front of you, is starting from stage one, which is the project study which includes everything, the feasibility study, the approvals, the budget allocation, uh, everything goes into stage one. Stage one alone took us a couple of years, just so that you can imagine uh, uh, that stage one is not just uh, 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 one stage, it is many, many stages within itself. And it goes along the other five stages, that, as you can see in front of you. Please remember those five stages as, we are, as we're going to be requiring them in the, in the next slides. Next. 
This is our first project. It's uh, Shweich Port. As I told you, Shweich is 60 years old. So we have uh, two projects in one. The first one, which is the infrastructure development project, which is renewing all the infrastructure, changing all the pipes, the water, the uh, uh, um, fiber optics, the wirings, everything needs to be changed completely. Stage two is the expansion of Shweich port. Uh, and you can read in front of you the uh, actual requirement. Uh, stage one uh, has already been, uh, the infrastructure development project has already been tendered. We're waiting for this project uh, to close and the uh, winner will be announced. Uh, stage two, we have also issued the tender on the uh, design stage. So we have invited an open tender for the top engineering firms from all around the world so that they can participate in designing the expansion of Schweich port so that it can fulfill the requirements of uh, Kuwait as a country uh, uh, for the next 40 to 50 years uh, ahead. Next. This is the uh, expansion part of uh, Shweig port. The left part is the existing port. The right part where you can see the three big ships is the uh, extension. The, ex uh, the current picture only has three berths. Actually, we've decided to have it as uh, six berths uh, with a berth length, total berth length, of uh, 1.8 kilometers. So it's going to be uh, uh, quite uh, a long uh, or a big expansion with at least uh, 1 million square meters of reclaimed land, uh, handling uh, at least 1.5 to 2 million uh, TEUs. And we are still studying uh, the possibility of having this port as a uh, fully automated port or a semi-automated port. It will depend on the study, study that will come out in stage one, uh, which is the design stage. Next. The same goes along with Shaiba port, but Shaiba port we have already signed uh, the uh, port expansion project. It has been signed with uh, Jacobs, uh, lately, Jacobs has purchased uh, CH2M, which purchased Halcro. Halcro was the uh, uh, initial uh, design uh, and engineering firm 60 years ago that has designed Schweich Port. So they're coming again now uh, under the flag of Jacobs. Uh, Jacobs is one of the top uh, companies in the world in port infrastructure. And this is where we uh, uh, reflect our seriousness as the Kuwait Port Authority to attract the best design and engineering companies from the world, as well as the best construction companies in the world to implement our projects. Because there is, uh, uh, we hear so many people especially uh, the top entrepreneurs all over the world, saying that they learn from their mistakes. In the maritime world, in the port industry world, there is no chance for any mistakes. And therefore, for us to recruit and sign with the top engineering firms uh, is a must for us so that we can always have it right uh, without having any mistakes. Next. This is uh, uh, Shaiba port. This is the plan of how the infrastructure development project will be. It is actually issued uh, and tendered, and we're also awaiting for the award to happen. Next, please. This is 
a suggested expansion of how Sha'iba port will be. The future expansion in Sha'iba will not handle any containers, rather it will handle the aggregates uh, mostly, uh, but the actual final design is completely different than the one you see in front of you. It was just a uh, suggested design from our uh, uh, in-house engineers, but the design that has been suggested uh, and soon to be approved by our committee, uh, suggested by Jacobs, is, is a completely different one. It will be announced once the uh, uh, construction tender uh, released. Next, please. This is Doha port development. Uh, our uh, current port in Doha, it's a, it's a very small port. It attracts mainly the uh, DAOs and the little ships coming from neighboring countries, uh, Iran and Iraq, uh, bringing fruits, vegetables, pistachio from Iran, certain uh, products from uh, Iraq, exporting as well, different products uh, that come from all over the world into Kuwait to those countries, electronics, computers, etc., cars, and uh, the expansion uh, would include a, a commercial project uh, so that it can, and the marina, uh, so the development will not affect the uh, uh, Shaiba port, uh, Doha port within itself, rather it will promote other national requirements to have a recreational center to be built along with uh, the port itself. Next. This is uh, Doha port. The expansion, as you see, will be the reclaimed land uh, on the right-hand side, and it will be completely recreational, uh, a mall with a marina. Uh, probably until now, we have not decided on what the final design will be. Uh, it will be decided once the uh, uh, tender will be issued. Next. Okay. This is the Smart Ports project. As you know, that the IMO has sent a circular uh, recently promoting uh, all the ports in the world to implement the port community system. We have actually integrated with uh, many uh, stakeholders, including the customs, Kuwait customs. We're also now building uh, the ports gateway, which is a single window. And we are issuing the smart port projects that would have a command and control center, having all the stakeholders, government entities, shipping lines, customs agents, uh, 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 all the stakeholders within the port community system under one portal, under one command and control system that would enable and speed all the uh, uh, port uh, handling uh, starting from the entry of the sh uh, ship to the uh, stevedoring of the uh, cargo uh, in terms of containers or any type of uh, cargo outside the container. Next, please. We go next. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, next please. Yeah. Uh, this is the dry port uh, project. Uh, it's a project where we would be receiving cargo coming from different countries through the land. We have probably 80% of our uh, trucks coming into the country from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has a huge uh, industrial zone called Jibail. Uh, it's so big that they've done Jibail 1 and Jibail 2. Uh, so many international and global companies are manufacturing out of Jibail. Uh, and therefore, we are bringing those goods into Kuwait and we're having a problem at the border 
What we're doing now is we are creating this dry port so that they can come immediately without waiting at the border or being inspected at the border. They would come, they would have a device fixed on the truck, uh, which is a vessel tracking system. The truck would go immediately to the dry port and then it will be inspected there at a uh, uh, fully uh, smart and modern customs uh, inspection uh, area uh, without having the hassle of waiting long hours at the borders between Kuwait and, and, and Saudi Arabia. Uh, this project is at stage two and hopefully the tender will be uh, uh, finalized as soon as possible for the design stage and then for the construction stage. Next, please. If you can see, it is the dry port is about a million square meters. It is uh, west of Shaiba port. It will have a bridge that will link Shaiba port uh, to the dry port. As you can see, there are neighboring uh, areas that belong to the oil sector. We want to uh, remove ourselves completely from this area by creating a direct bridge that would go from the port to the dry port without having our trucks actually entering the, uh, what they call as the Shaiba industrial zone. Next, please. These are uh, the uh, uh, marine development projects. We, as the Kuwait Port Authority, are not only responsible for the three ports, we are also responsible for the uh, storage uh, land that we have, which we are transferring to uh, become the logistics cities, as well as we have uh, marinas that we are developing uh, if we can look at the picture. Next, please. We have two marinas. This is uh, Finpas Marina, uh, which we called uh, Marasil Finpas Project. This project is 365,000 square meters in size. The circumference, so if you want to walk from one side to the other, it is about two kilometers in circumference length. So it is a huge, huge project. Um, this project has been designed by myself. I actually designed it with my hand. Uh, the design and engineering company, Royal Haskening, implemented my idea into a visual, beautiful design. It will house uh, over 2,000 boats, 800 yachts, and 2,000 boats stacked in, in a parking, uh, uh, multi-story parking, fully automated. It will have shops, restaurants, hotel. It will have one of the biggest malls in the region. And we want to promote the small as a government entity to the SMEs, the small and medium enterprises, so that we can promote the movement from the government entity to the entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial uh, and uh, uh, business-oriented uh, sector, especially with the youth, so that they can pursue their own business. And there are so many laws in Kuwait that would promote that. Next, please. This is part of the project, uh, as you can see. Next. Next, please. These are the four logistic cities. Uh, we are still at stage one. Stage two, uh, uh, we actually moved to stage two. This slide is, is probably six, seven months old. Uh, we were supposed to move to stage two uh, eight months ago, but due to the coronavirus, so many government entities were closed, except us, we were open. Uh, the Central Tendering Committee was closed, but they recently issued the uh, Logistics City Development Project at the Engineering and Design stage. 
for all of the four logistic uh, city locations. And these locations will also uh, implement the uh, smart uh, uh, cities. We will have the state-of-the-art uh, uh, design, uh, fully, uh, you know, all the networks, the 5G or even better, uh, the connect connectivity, uh, we want to promote uh, companies to come from all over the world to use Kuwait uh, as a regional hub uh, alongside the other countries, including Saudi, the United Arab Emirates, etc. Next, please. This is the uh, 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 short description of the Kuwait logistics cities and the size of each plot. Next. This is one of our plots in, in, in Kuwait. This is uh, Mina Abdullah, logistics city. Next. This is uh, the two locations in, next to Doha port. Next. And this is the one next to uh, Shweig port. Next. Thank you very much.